Guru Purnima is celebrated to commemorate the appearance of Srila Vyasadev. Let us learn some more about Srila Vyasadev. Formerly, there was only one Veda which was learnt by tradition of a disciple hearing from the spiritual master. There was no need of a book as their memory was so sharp that once heard from the lips of the spiritual master, the students became completely well versed. However, Vyasdev, an empowered incarnation or Shaktya Vesha avatar of Krishna, wanted to broadcast the Vedic wisdom to the world, especially to the mortals in Kali The age of Kali that we are currently living in is characterized by dull minds with poor memory and feeble spiritual inclinations. Thus, Vyasdev, who could see past and future, composed and compiled the Vedas into four Rig Ved, Sam Ved, Yajur Ved and Atharva Ved. He appointed his disciples as a teacher for each of the four Vedas. Vaishampayan would teach Yajur Ved, Paila Rishi would teach Rig Ved, Jaimini was a teacher for Sam Ved and Sumantamuni Angira was a teacher for Atharva Ved. Thus, he came to be known as Vedavyas or the one who classified the Vedas. Then he considered that there was also a class of people that would like to learn through true stories. So he wrote the Puranas which were filled with stories especially to help the people achieve the ultimate goal of life. He also compiled the Mahabharat after the war of Kurukshetra was over. And by the order of Brahmaji, Sri Ganesh took up the charge of writing down the dictation by Vyasdev on the condition that Vyasdev would not stop even for a moment. Vyasdev also compiled the Vedanta Sutra or Badarayan Sutra, and so he is also known as Badarayan. Although Vyasdev was really trying to help the people, he still felt unhappy. At that moment, Narad Muni, his spiritual master, arrived and pointed out that he had not emphasized devotional service, which is really the only process that can fully satisfy Lord Krishna and the perfect souls. Thus, in his maturity of his spiritual life, Vyasdev composed the Bhagavatam. The Bhagavatam is a personal commentary on the Vedanta Sutra by Vyasdev. Thus, Vyasadeva is offered respects before one chants the Vedic literature, especially the Puranas. Let us learn more about Vyasadeva. Vyasadeva was the son of Parashar Muni and Satyavati. Parashar Muni was a great sage and Satyavati was the daughter of a fisherman. She was also called Matsyagandha or the one who has the smell of fish. Once, when she was ferrying the great sage Parashar across the river, he saw that the constellations were so arranged that there was an opportunity for a great personality to appear at that time. He assured Satyavati that it's a service to bring the Lord into the world and that she would still remain a virgin and her fishy odour would become fragrant. Thus, she would be materially purified and her destiny, as we know, eventually elevated her to marry Shantanu and become a queen. Upon Satyavati's consent, an island was created, mist enshrouded, and immediately Vyasdev was born and he immediately parted. Thus, Vyasdev is also known as Krishna Dwaipayan, as he had a dark complexion and he was born on a dweep or an island. He was also known as Satyavati Sutta, Parasharya and Parasharatmajo. Satyavati became queen to Shantanu, who was drawn by her bodily fragrance. Shantanu and Satyavati had two sons, Chitrangad and Vichitravir. Both of them died early without leaving an heir. But Vichitravirya had two wives, Ambika and Ambalika. A widowed Satyavati initially asked her stepson Bhishma to marry both the queens, but he refused, citing his vow of celibacy. 
Satyavati revealed her secret past and requested him to bring her first born Vyasadev to impregnate the widows. By this time Vyasadev had compiled the Vedas. Vyasadev was unkempt because of months of meditation in the forest. Hence upon seeing him Ambika who was rather scared shut her eyes resulting in their child Dhritarashtra being born blind. The other queen Ambalika turned pale upon meeting Vyasadev which resulted in their child Pandu who was born weak and pale. Alarmed Satyavati requested that Vyasadev meet Ambika again and grant her another son. Ambika instead sent her maid to meet Vyasadev. The duty-bound maid was calm and composed and she had a healthy child who was later named Vidura. Vyasadev was also the father of Shukadev Goswami, a great devotee of Lord Krishna, who was the first to recite Shrimad Bhagavatam in the presence of Parikshit Maharaj. Srila Vyasadev is thus the empowered literary incarnation of the personality of Godhead Shri Krishna. He descended by his causeless mercy to deliver the fallen souls in the material world. All the Vedic literatures therefore are put into systematic order for the benefit of the fallen souls. And on this day of Guru Purnima, let us all take up this duty to take advantage of such literatures and be freed from the bondage of material existence.